In this session, we're going to talk about the exciting additions to the analysis mode on list pages in Business Central. Both when it comes to adding columns for fields and related tables, opening Excel, uh, and creating direct links to analysis mode uh, views from AL code. But first, let's recap a little bit. Back in 2023 release wave two, we launched the ability to analyze data on list pages. With this, you could quickly extract insights from your data directly inside of Business Central with no need to involve developers. For instance, you could pick columns, reorder them, set up additional data filters, group and pivot, and save your analysis for repetitive use. This has been a great success, uh, including the later added uh, Copilot Analysis Assist that allowed you to create uh, these views uh, using natural language. But a challenge has been analyzing more complex cross-entity data relationships, which still has required developers creating queries. We're super excited that we have now empowered users uh, even more addressing exactly this. Blanke, can you tell us more? So, that's why in this release, we're introducing a new feature that will allow users to add fields from related tables and pages directly in analysis mode. This will allow users to make their own datasets from including different data sources and also perform complex analysis on these. And all of this directly from the web client, again, as Peter mentioned, without having to code anything. Um, and this is coming in this release, but it's also coming in a minor, so you will have to wait a bit more. So it's estimated at 26.2 or earlier. So that was the feature, but now let's uh, jump straight into the demo to see how it actually works. OK, so now I'm going to open my sales line page, and it's already in analysis mode, so you are probably already familiar with this view. And now I can explore a bit this data set, and I see it's missing some information, especially around the location. So I want to add that information into this list. So now I can actually do that, and I'm going to try to get some information from the sales order list, because I know we have some about the, the location. So if I open the menu from the analysis tab, then I can see this new action over here, which is add columns from. And when I hover over it, I will see a suggestion of all the tables where I can add data from. And these tables are the ones that I already have a table relationship in AL. To the right, I can see what kind of relation is that. So for example, in the customer, this will join the data where the sell to customer number in the sales lines matches the number on the customer table. And when we do so, we also perform a left outer join. But that's it for the technical details. Let's go ahead and find our sales header table. Can also click on that, and then that will open a new window where I can see the source table that I have selected. I can also see the list of uh, table fields that I can add to my, to my data set. But we also know that users are usually more familiar with pages because this is actually what surfaces to the, uh, in the client, and that's what users use in their everyday life. So that's why we have also added the option to just view all the list pages and card pages that implement that table. And then I can just look for, in this case, I wanted the sales order list, so I'm going to click on that. And then I can see the pages from the sales order list, which are the ones that I'm familiar with. So now I can just look up for the fields that I want to add. So um, let's add some of the information regarding the location of these invoices. And I just click OK. We'll get a, a short disclaimer when I add fields for the first time, just to make the user aware that um, calculated fields are going to be removed. And there's also some limitations with the uh, opening Excel regarding the number of rows that we can actually show. But I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And then if I scroll all the way down to, my, to the end of my list, I see I already have that data in my list. So that's pretty nice. And then, of course, I can also move my columns around and rearrange them how I want. Or I can also click on a column menu and add them from there. And then they will be added next to it. So let's, for example, add more information from the customer, because I don't really have that much here. 
So let's pick up the customer list. I'm just gonna pick up the name, perhaps the contact. And there we go, they have been inserted next to the customer number, so I already have more information there. And of course, I can do all the operations that I would usually do with a regular AG grid. So for example, I can just go ahead and hide or um, show any column. I can also group by this column. So for example, let's group my data by the region and let's also add some grouping by the customer name. So now I can see my invoices very nicely grouped. Then I can also, of course, pivot if I want to see the aggregation columns. Or I can also set some filters. So for example, let's look just as at the ones in the US. And that's it. So of course, the data set can grow quite big with all these uh, added columns. So if I'm done with a particular uh, column or a table, I can just go ahead and remove the column or, for example, remove all the com columns from this table. So in this case, customer table. While I also keep my sales header columns over here. Um, and yeah, once I'm done with it, I can also, of course, share it as I will usually do with copy link. And then also my colleagues can also have access to this data set. So as you saw, that was super easy. I could very easily from the client just add fields from other tables without having to do any AL code. So just as a short recap of what we have seen, you can now add fields from related tables and you can do so using the add columns um, option in the menu. And these uh, tables that uh, you can add from are actually those that have already a table relation in AL. So that those are the ones that will show up. And we also filter out those that uh, where the user doesn't have access because, for example, they are obsolete, they are temporary, or just because they are guarded by some permissions. Um, then when we join tables, we also perform a left outer join. This means that it also matters the order in which you perform these joins. Um, and it's also possible to join the same table through different table relationships. Um, and you would also have the same uh, capabilities as you do with the regular columns. So you can also hide them, you can show them, you can reorder them as you would like. You can also freeze them left or right. You can set filters, you can group, you can pivot on them, and then you can also, uh, this will be also exported to Excel. The only limitations that we have with these Reddit uh, fields are that Copilot Assist is not just supported on them, so we won't be able to recognize them, and also that calculated fields are not supported. Therefore, they will be ignored when performing uh, such analysis. Thank you, Blanca. It's, it's super awesome to see the ability to add fields from related tables or pages, however you want to see it, in the analysis mode tabs. Uh, basically, you know, creating advanced uh, views on data and, and essentially building uh, queries on the fly and empowering the end users to do this without having to involve a developer for, for super, super uh, nice insights uh, capabilities. But we have more improvements uh, for the analysis mode. Uh, first out is the ability to open uh, the data in an analysis mode tab in Excel. Actually, uh, Blanca alluded a little bit uh, to that before uh, when she talked uh, about the capabilities. And this allows um, you as a user to do further analysis using all the well-known uh, powerful tools in Excel. And you can do this uh, from the uh, context menu on the uh, data area, uh, which works in all uh, versions, or you can do it from the analysis tab context menu, which is supported from 2024 release wave two as a, basically a backport in version 25.3. So Blanca, can you show us uh, how this works? All right, yes. So let's go back to the analysis view that I have just created with rated columns. And then if I go to the menu of my tab, then I can find this new action opening in Excel. Then I can click on it and I will have my new Excel sheet generated. And then I just open it and I can see I have all the data 
that I could see in the client, and also including my related columns over here. So now I can just use this and just share it or use it in some other scenarios. And that's it, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Blanca, very, very nice. I mean, not only the power within the client to add related tables, but actually also pull them out as part of opening in Excel for further analysis. Should really, really empower uh, users for data analysis in this release. So the last addition uh, to the analysis mode is really a feature for developers. Uh, which allows creating URLs uh, that opens a page in analysis mode. And this is uh, something that builds on the URL support for layout uh, parameter that we added in uh, 2024 release wave two. Um, and in this release, we are now adding that the AL uh, get URL method um, has a parameter that you can specify that you want, uh, for instance, the analysis uh, layout uh, when creating the URL. So let's see a quick example. Uh, here we see that when I call the get URL, I put in analysis as part of the uh, parameter in the call. And the resulting URL that gets generated by the platform, you can see at the end how the analysis layout is appended to make sure that this page link then opens in analysis mode. So if uh, you're new to analysis mode and you thought uh, what we brought in this release was super exciting, but you want to know more about the feature, uh, including the analysis assist uh, copilot that Blanca mentioned and that, uh, as she said, uh, is not supporting adding related uh, fields yet, uh, then I suggest that you watch uh, these previous launch event uh, sessions. There will be links to them in the description for this uh, video as well. So thanks for joining uh, this session, uh, staying to the end. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the improvements uh, we have made in the analysis mode uh, in this release that really unlocks the power uh, for cross-entity data analysis for end users without having to have uh, a dependency on developers actually going in and creating uh, this support. That both increases agility and lowers uh, the cost. Uh, do note that this feature is planned to be available after general availability of the release. So right now we are looking at uh, likely the minor update uh, too. Uh, thank you and enjoy the other launch sessions.